Beat Bama Food Drive has been fighting hunger with the East Alabama Food Bank for 30 years now, taking on the University of Alabama and the West Alabama Food Bank. Both schools have seven weeks to collect as much non-perishable food items as they can to beat their cross-state rival. Year after year, the food drive has grown, and last year they donated over 550,000 pounds of food. And together, both schools combined for over a million pounds to fight food insecurity. You look at our past three, four years, it's been exponential in growth, um, just as regards to numbers in itself. So that, um, that's been exciting. This year, the organization hopes to be able to donate even more. I haven't really put a number on it yet. You know, our team has just been kind of, you know, go as big as possible. Um, we've, we've continuously done that in the past, so um, any number that we set, we always end up um, overshooting it anyway. The food drive kicks off on Friday, September 29th with an event on the Haley Concourse. You can see some of the energy even outside of our meetings. Um, that's something we're really bringing this year is the energy to Concourse. Um, you know, the best way to spread your mission is through awareness. Um, and so that's something that we've pushed and our campus team has been really great in planning a lot of good events. We have a dunk tank coming out that I'll be in, um, so look forward to being in that. But um, really just making people aware that, hey, we're starting today and this is a seven week mission. Yeah. Curious on what to donate? VP of Outreach Jenna Baldwin has just what they want. Yeah, so anything that weighs a lot um, in terms of weight and poundage. Um, so peanut butter weighs a lot, um, big cans of green beans, any canned foods, um, anything like that. If you want to help the Tigers take down Alabama off the field, then you can go to aub.ie slash bbfd to show your support. The food drive ends on November 16th, a week and a half before the Iron Bowl. For Eagle Eye TV, I'm Zach Card.